Right, well, we'll do one of these again. Now, I'm expecting two radios. And one's a repair, and there's a Midland Power Max on CEPT. And the other is one I've bought off eBay for myself to do a video on, and that is a Maxcom 30E. So it's going to be one or the other. So we know, unless this is a repair that's coming in that I don't know about, but uh, we'll open it up and we'll see what's inside. Limited edition Snickers. I'll just pause the video while I get into the box. And we'll go a stage further. It's the Maxcom 30E. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is to find a power lead and make up a microphone for it. Okay, so we've provided a microphone and a new power lead. I've taken the screws out. Or better just unsolder the speaker. Now I normally have to start with the VCO and on these sets the VCO is coil 116. The test point is under that wax right next to capacitor 198 which is to the right. Of course you can get the test point the other side Unless this set shows signs of being out of lock, I won't, there's no point in undoing all the wax. It looks like it's been untouched, and I actually broke a seal from a supplier for in, in 2004 to open the set up. So I have every confidence that it's not been fiddled with. But it's um, the adjustment is L116. You put your meter from test point to ground, and you're looking for two and a half volts on channel 40 on transmit. And then you're looking for 2.4 volts on channel 1 on receive as you kind of check. So that's it. But I've covered that on the Midland 4001 because it's the same chassis as the Midland 4001 and the Maxcom 4E and 6E and uh, 16E and a few other of the Maxon chassis from Korea. Uh, Colt 295A and Cobra 21 XFM and Comtron 40F. Sertel so on um, except the difference with this is it has a crystal filter in the receiver which is just there and like the Midland 4001 you've got the antenna warning indicator so we'll go straight into the transmitter and the first call to adjust is that one there which is L107 so we'll put the radio into transmit at the moment we've got 4 watts and we'll just check that L107 is at peak. It is. So move to the second one on transmit which is L109. I can't remember when I bought this whether the eBay advertisement said it worked or it didn't. I mean it's really immaterial. 108 is the next one. And then L1110, which is the one with no can on it. There we go. Um, L111, which is that one there. Just have to map, melt the, core, the uh, wax in that one. Peak followed by L one one five.
and there we have it. That's peak and it is 4 watts. Right, now then, is it on frequency?